So Kalon went Gardevoir like I like I wanted him to. And I didn't see what support he picked, so I hope he picked Farfetch, which really helps out. Yeah, let's match up. And he, he did. did. All right, very smart, very smart because Farfetch is really good against um, characters like the Thrall projectiles. So you can kind of can still get punished by it. Cause yeah, in, indeed. Because like, well, the moment Farfetch is up and active. Mm -hmm. The zoner on the other side has to be aware that it's up because they threw any move that has that's any not cancelable kind of or any amount of recovery. Mm -hmm. Farfish comes out, Farfish gets a punish, and that's a free field face for the person to call it. Yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong. Like, uh, if you were to say use Mulgan to have Farfetch, like breaks into doing like sidewise, they can step out of the way of the Mulgan, but they can't do that with Farfetch. Is that true? It's it's a lot harder to to get out of the way of Farfetch. You need to either run back or jump. Gotcha. Okay. And, and you you can. Uh, homing guard it and get past or or C A D C A for it. But those are very risky. In okay. my opinion. Yeah. Anyway, into this match itself. Okay. So there's so something in a slight lead right now. Allen's still in a good situation though. I must say, uh, I was playing a while with friendly with um Callen. He he's his setups are just absolutely crazy how much damage he can do. He's just having a hard time getting them Gu right now. Guard is people used to think back in the day Whoa. people used to think that guard was just pure zone. Yep. And over the months, over the years, she has become a very high damaging machine. Yeah. Like she does, she can output so much hurt. Yeah, but in such Salty a short amount of time. Was able to avoid that almost entirely. Almost took no damage from that. Really setting up very, very strong. I think um, he's usually really using the speed of his projectiles to really, really hurt um, Alan. He's not able to get a lot of his traps set up right now. Yeah. I guess first as well. CDC grab the, the the old net play classic still works on offline as well. Yeah, it, it works because it works if you don't use it all the time. Like it's something that you, you throw in every now and then as, a, as it's, again it's like a little test. Like, a little bit of seasoning gonna, sprinkling in. Yeah, are you, like, are you gonna let me do this or not? Like uh, keeping out this matchup with uh, racing white screen is that she can white screen from which everything guard can do. Really, even like the um, future site. Yes. Really? So Future Sight, Sidekick, 2X, 2Y, not 2Y, uh, 4Y, uh, every projectile that Gardevoir has, even if it pierces, really? she can light screen. Because the, the thing about 2X is that it's not a beam, so oh, she, can do, okay. she can get rid of the hitbox before I can hit her and Interesting. pierces. Gotcha, okay. Nice it's, 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 it's why I recommend Farfetch for this matchup, or for a good year. Something, right. something that keeps Sir Salty uh, from hitting buttons. Oh, nice grab right there by Talon. Uh, something in his favor right now. So something might have to pop his first again. Yeah, the match going to be it. He needs to be able to get this. Warfetch? Um, no, not yet. He's waiting for a move. Yeah, he's waiting for it. He's trying to bait something. There it goes. You can't, you can't oh, burst punish that. No? No. It recovers way too fast. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it recovers as fast as a uh, as a enhanced support. Really? So so if you just toss it out there, unless the move is already out there to hit you, mm -hmm. then you can't be punished. Wow. Okay. So... Now, so Salty, ooh, getting hit by that stored power right there. All right, so now it looks like he's using special cheers. So really want to get as much out of Garbar's burst as he can. Mm -hmm. It is a very powerful burst, but it can it, be a little it, bit hard to get to sometimes. It is. It's for having only 150 CC on Garbar's burst, one of the medium median ranges for burst. I think so, yeah. Uh, and then having it be one of the longest times of act activity. Yeah, like, it's, it's only it's beat it's by Mega Gengar. Isn't yes. It? Uh, it's something that she can abuse a lot when she yes. has the right support, so she has the right like, momentum going before. But Callan, Palpin, uh, no, Callan, Sir Salty, Palpin his burst. He's getting a pretty big lead right now. He gets a grab right there. I think Callan's being a little bit too defensive. He, he was trying to take a grab, but it came a little bit later than he expected. Oh, using that nice high invincibility right there. Can you out of that? I think oh, I think I, I think I saw a button. Nope, no, okay. No, no, cool. I like it, though. Oh, that's gonna connect though. But kick. that's not the worst trade. I mean, it's a knockdown, which isn't the best for dark, but yeah, it could be worse. Oh, okay. So now you can. Okay, now is where things get a little bit scary. Okay, now I see what you mean. Yeah, white screen. But oh, he's a little bit blocked out. All right. I thought he was still in a counter frame, so the white screen would have hit by far better. Talon's still in this. It's just, just get place. Oh no! Oh, he's not able to get it just in time. If he had, if he had held off a little bit. A tiny bit longer than I thought that side shot. Yep. He had he had burst before he threw that, that side shot. So if he yeah. waited a little bit longer, blocked the ring, do a pop burst, and then had all the pressure he could have had to possibly win the round and win the game. Yeah. Now Sir Salty is ahead right now, and he he's doing a pretty good job um making sure that Kalon cannot get his stuff set up. Like and, and when he mm -hmm. did, he was able to get the knowledge of like the light screening through a lot of it too. Yep. Really able to avoid a lot. Uh, uh, the thing about light screening. 
in this matchup is that even though it's a very strong option you can have that Brixen has in this matchup to make Garth think twice about setting up traps and setting up zoning, mm -hmm. it's not infallible. Yeah. With with the right timing, Guard can six exit. Guard can pierce with two X with oh, if they okay. time it right. They can grab it at the right ranges. Like it, it's it's a very to take a five exit. Like it's 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 not the end all be all of this matchup. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Even though, like, for me, from like a per, um, outside perspective, it looks like it's absolutely broken, but definitely still has. Oh, very smart right there. Just, that's just like straight up knowledge right there, knowing it's completely invincible against projectiles. Good back dash. I think Kalen's getting a little bit more um, aggressive right now. He he definitely is. I think he wants to try and close it out. Like, as soon like, as he's, get, he's closing distance right now, and now just something is having a hard time Ooh, finding out what to good do. Good teleport. And nice there, confirming that. They have to use his very, first though. Very solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think definitely right there, Kalen uh, recognized he needs to go more aggressive, and Sir Salty did not expect that at all. Are you using the first thing that bad of idea because he has running special the special synergy he's running right now? Yes. Special? I think so. So if so he's running it's really special, that means that if he pops first, he has nearly half of it back for next round. Yeah, exactly. So if, if he wins. So it's not that bad of a bad it, of a thing to go yeah, for. Yeah, it's, it's a good trade, especially since our guard has only 150cc, and so he can easily get that maxed out in one round if she wasn't right. In this space a little bit. Nice Sir Salty there. has done the flame charge after it. After it and I think I think Kalon's recognizing that now. He's going to start doing that eight wide. Oh, caught him! Nice timing right there by Kalon. Right now, Salty getting close right now. Oh, just so burst okay. into burst. So so about that, I understand why he did it. Oh yeah. Sir Salty has a tendency to either call support or hit a button. Once the opponent hits, uh, pops there at burst. Oh yeah. So to circumvent that and keep him from doing that, he hit burst immediately after he popped. Uh, okay. Activation. So it's, it's not. Ooh, that was a nice grab. It, it wasn't like it was a random thing. That was actually an uh, actual decision that he came to off of what the last couple rounds were. Yeah. Okay, so now it's a very tight situation right now. But it's not enough quite yet. Nice back at out. Oh, oh light nice. screen. Excellent light screen by Sir Salty. So good. Now match point. K1 really needs to pull through here. This is really tough here. He really can, um, needs to make some good use of bar punch right now. As I say it, I told that show damage up right there. He, he's calling it, I want to say at the wrong spots, but he's calling it at points where they're not as effective as they could It's be. like preemptively, sort of. Yeah. It's more so like you, you see them press a button and you use bar man, correct? Yes. If, if you see Breaks and do side Y, it, it's a pretty safe thing to do and call far fetch, even how far they are. Um, and he's not waiting. Like he's just like doing it before he just uh, hits the button. Yeah. Nice and out. Kalon getting a little bit of advantage and going here, but now so salty. Getting the combo off the counter. Let's see here. Just Ooh, that was like, oh, well, oh, this is gonna he be. Has, he has one last chance. All right, can't, can't make any more mistakes. He has to play perfectly, and that side beam there is gonna snag that out. Sir Salty advancing to top eight. Knocking Kalon. Kalon is out of the tournament. Out of, out of the ninth.